Hey guys. I just wanted to show you this little DIY wood burner I made. I made it out of just a piece of uh, some sort of four inch duct work that you can buy at any hardware store. I cut these notches in the top here along the top and it already had some slots on the bottom and I, you can't see it I'll show you after but on the inside there's a little screen type thing that I took off an old circulation fan from my wood stove at home fit right in there perfect so yeah it's pretty cool boil up some water for some coffee here out here it was two degrees when I got here and the sun's trying to come up over there just taking a walk in the woods today guys sitting on the, the thermo rest here today all right I'll see you later so yeah this is the first time out with this little stove looks like we got a boil to about six minutes. <sighs> Took about six minutes to get a boil. And all I'm burning is little, little twigs, pine twigs. And got it going with some birch bark, of course. But yeah, I mean, you can, there's an endless supply of fuel out here for a little stove like this. So I'm pretty happy, it'll work pretty good. bigger on camera. It's only as big as my pot here though. Alright. Try to get some video. Still shots. So yeah, we got a boil going, like I was saying. And look who met up with me out here. Yeah, Main dweller. <laughs> yeah. Found my tracks, followed me out here. And um he's gonna Heat up some water with that Esbit stove. First time out with that, so let's see how that goes, James. Light it up. Those those Esbit cubes, they call them. Yeah, I got a name for them. Probably. Esbit fuel tabs. Looks like you got it going there. Gonna boil up some water and try a little Esbit stove out, man. Well, those take a flame good, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Well, they produce a flame good. or something like that. It's called. It's got a, like a chemical name to it. He's got a Snow Peak uh, 600 cup on there. Yeah, it was two degrees when I got out here. I don't know what it is now. I had 12 in my car, but I was right in the sun. Oh yeah. I was driving here, so it's not that warm. That's for sure. Main dweller picked up this Condor packet, an Army Navy surplus. So far, I think rocks. First time out with that today. Yep. All these different attachment points, Molly attachment points, different pockets. Maybe at some point you'll do a review on it, I'm not sure, but that's a nice little pack for this kind of stuff. These to be really nice quality, the buckles and the stitching looks good. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty nice. I use it as my daily, everyday carry. Nice. And I take it to work everywhere I go. Nice. So we'll see how it holds up. Awesome. All right, let me make some coffee here. Let me throw a boil on it. So that Esbit tablet's almost out. Sounds like it's getting ready to boil, James. It's getting close. Coffee. <laughs> It's a nice bag. It's it's a condor, you said, huh? Condor, yeah. Nice. I think they they make stuff for the military. Is that right? I did get it at a military surplus store, and mm -hmm. it's brand new. I really like the size of it for doing this kind of thing. These pockets, I like that. Heavy, heavy zipper is nice. Let's see how it works out. Yeah. And this here knife you just picked up. It's the Tops. Which model? The High Desert Survival. Oh, nice. This is just reviewed by Beast. That's Kudos right. Kudos to Beast. Uh, yeah, I like the review so much. I uh, got online and looked around, got the best price, and 
ordered it up. The thing is a beast. It is nice. Look at how thick that is. What is that? Quarter inch. Quarter inch at least, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Beast did a nice review on this. Yeah, he did. Check out Beast's channel, everybody. If you haven't already, I'm sure you have. But okay. it, 12101? Yep, Beast 12101, I believe, yeah. Boy, that's a nice knife, though. It's heavy, but for batoning, that would be the cat's meow right there. Yep. That's that's a nice investment. Very nice. Got it attached here on the side of his pack. Very nice. Hope that works out for you. I don't see why I can't. The grip is nice. It's unique. Yeah, I like the grip. It's skeletonized, they call it. Uh-huh. They take some of it out. It weighs like a pound. Yeah. So it's not something you want to take a lightweight backpacking. No. Um, for a little adventure like this or definitely survival. Absolutely. Situation. I mean, Beast is like uh, cutting up some kind of meat with it and everything, taking the fat off of it. and he does, he does feather sticks and whatever with it. And, sure. You know, you can really choke up on it. <clears throat> it's got a nice edge on it, huh? Yeah. Wow. Came with a great edge right from the factory. So. Awesome. Yep. So that's it. You gonna get a boil out of that one tablet? Just barely. Little bubbles. Oh yeah, not I a, see it. Not a rolling boil, but... Yeah, I tell you what, it's like four degrees out here, so that's pretty impressive. That's not too bad. Not at all. Good enough for a cup of coffee. All right. And what kind of coffee is that again? Yeah. Via. Yeah. Thanks to my buddy over here. Big surprise there, yeah. For our next trip on All right. Appreciate that. This is Main Dwell. He's giving this... Uh, Out his new knife here. Yeah? Wow, that thing chops good. Not bad. It's got a lot of weight to it. Would you say it weighed? It weighs about a pound. It's the cold steel, correct? <laughs> no. <laughs> tops. Tops. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it's high the, desert survival. Yeah. The tops. High de desert survival. Yeah. Give it in a rundown. Whoa. That's not too bad. That's mm -hmm. impressive. It's only pine, but nice. See, that's pretty good. Process some wood with that. Very nice. It, yeah. it feels good in the hand, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. I can't even feel my hand right now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. What a beautiful day. Yeah. It's insanely quiet out here. Main dweller and I are walking along the edge of this inlet from the reservoir, big cove area. Just beautiful. Fabulously beautiful out here. Decent storm. We got four, three or four inches of snow, maybe five. This is stunning. Main dweller. <laughs> yeah. No. Not 
Which way you want to head there, buddy? We can get up this hill. What's that? We can get up this hill. Yeah, you want to get up over that? Let's see what's up top there. Yeah. I think there's a larger body of water over there, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah, let's check that out. Check this out. We're up in this old area of this reservoir where they uh, upended some towns back in the 30s. Check out this wall, this old foundation wall. All these rocks. These stones. Somebody took some serious time building this wall. That's insane. Look at it, it goes all the way down there. This used to be the, uh, the town was named Dana. And again, it was one of, this, one of several towns they up, they moved people out to make this massive reservoir. That's a lot of stones, folks. A lot of big old trees in this area too, where this used to be this town. Gigantic old, what are these, maples, James? Gigantic. Just huge. Can't even. Now stand next to it. Yeah, it. thanks. My arms up. Just amazing. I got, a, I got a, a, about a six foot wing spread. That's a big ass maple tree. What do you think the age, James, is something like that? Look at the one up there, it's even bigger. Just majestic. That's a maple tree, folks. Walk up here, there's another one I want to show you. That was a big one. Yeah, folks, years ago, we actually plant things in what's called a sugar bush. They would uh, cap it and make maple syrup. Uh huh. Something's been rooting around there. Yeah, something good under there. Yeah. Check out that tree. That's just immense. Slowly losing its branches. That's a big one. James, if you wouldn't mind standing next to that one get some perspective here. It's huge. Look at that. <laughs> <Do my invitation. laughs> That's awesome. Another gigantic pine tree. Look yeah, at that bad boy. Is that a white pine? Huge.
coming back out to the ice here. Pretty sure if we head up around this point up here, we're gonna end up back where we started. Well, we're on the ice here, so I'm hoping that we don't try out the underwater feature of this <laughs> Like I said, I went ice fishing last weekend in an area near here, and there was six inches of good ice, so I think we're all right. James is trying out his new camera. The Pentax, uh, what model is it? Optio WG1. Optio WG1. Yeah. Supposed to be waterproof, yeah. crash proof, yeah. crash -proof. underwater proof. Like you said, hopefully we won't find that out. <laughs> <laughs> and the Condor pack. This thing rocks. Well, we're almost back to the trailhead. Thanks a lot for coming along on this other, another day hike. Um, it's been a good time. Beautiful sights. We'll see you next time. <laughs>